Hi, hi guys, welcome back to Kit Car Direct and MK Sports Cars. This is a bit of a technical video for you really on the decision to buy either the Indy RR chassis or the Indy R chassis. Now I know there's a lot of confusion between the two chassis. People don't know which way they want to go in terms of use of the vehicle, should we say, road versus track. Well, let's go into it and let's have a look at what the Indy R is first. So the Indy R is a square tube chassis with 25 mil box section, 16 gauge, 1.5 mil wall. So it's all square tube all the way through, but we do use round tube in all of the centre tunnel sections here in some of the other areas. But fundamentally, the main chassis is all square tube. And then on the Indy R, as we say, these are also, we'll zoom in on this, these are what's called a, a polybush base car. So it has this here with a crushed tube and a, a rounded bush in there. And that sits on the uh, on the wishbone that way round actually Sean get it right the way round that's it. So as a, a poly bush car, obviously there is minimum adjustment on it in the sense of setting up for caster and uh, for tow and tow alignment on the rear of the vehicle. And this would sit on we have a similar wishbone that sits on the back of the vehicle. So it's kind of set in the factory, so perfect for a road car and occasional track day use where you don't really want to mess around the vehicle and it's setting. So it's square tube right away through. Now, other than that, right away through the chassis, all the bracing and everything we do on this particular chassis is no different to the RR. We don't change anything in terms of any structural things on the rear end or the front end of the car. And then you have a cage option of 50 mil, 38 mil inboard with side impact bars or just a roll bar, a cross brace roll bar on the back. So that's the Indy R square tube chassis really developed to sort of 50-50 road track use. Now let's get into the Indy RR. The Indy RR, still 25 mil uh, round tube chassis, but it is round tube all the way through the vehicle, right the way through in the whole back end. The only square tube on this chassis is the top section here where you mount your seat belt fixings that's in and the bottom fits in there it's the only thing the rest of it is all round tube right away through really for all its support structure and then also we have here this is a rose joint here so we have rose joints that screw in and screw out which will fit into the top section here you can see they're very very different if i put the two together in terms of where they fit and the size of them now if you're looking for adjustment, you're looking for a track day use, this is fully rose jointly so you can adjust and shim according to caster and camber and tow of the vehicle as well. So quite a big difference in terms of adjustability in what you want to do. Now this also with the round tube and the RR chassis, as we call it, you, uh, we do the option with the FIA roll cage on here as well, which bolts in. Um, it's a bolting cage with a fully rose jointed rear end as well. It's a double D hoop on the top section as well. And it's a lighter cage. The chassis overall is with the cage is between 10 and 12 kilos lighter overall um, as a chassis and as production what we do. And then obviously different engine configurations fit in both vehicles. We can have bike engine or car engine in both options. The final differences between the Indy RR and the R chassis. So the Indy R is round rose joint and round tube. And also it has the welded on bosses for all the anti-roll bars, front and rear on the vehicle. Normally the Indy R doesn't have them on. This customer has requested them and we can do custom stuff if required. The customer has requested them because he's going for a bit more track use so he wanted anti-roll bars on so them. Upgrades. Later on, you may be that you've bought an R already, you've bought one yourself, you may be not factory built it, or you're building one, and later on you think, I'm going to get into my track day use. Um, well, you can fit an Indy RR wishbone onto your R chassis, and it will convert it into a fully adjustable chassis, fully rose jointed all the way around. And even if you wanted to, you could just go front wishbones or rear, rear wishbones in an Indy R as well. So the Indy RR as a cost versus the Indy R. Yes, it's more expensive as a chassis. We're talking minimal hundreds of pounds here, but it is a much more um, labor intensive chassis to make because every, every joint has to be butt jointed rather than a square flat finish. So they have to be done. 
The round tube is a little bit more expensive to make as well than buying in the square tube chassis as well. And then the factor in, um, in terms of the wishbone, obviously there is a considerable difference in cost between a 15 pound rose joint, well 15 pound 99 rose joint versus a poly bush, which bonded bush it pushes into your R chassis. So they're the main differentiators because you have on this, you have rose joints and shims versus a poly bush and crush tube. So the old question is, why would I buy an Indy RR over an Indy R chassis? Well, if you're generally gonna be putting around on the B roads, this is perfectly suitable and your occasional track day. If you're a racer and you would like to tweak your car, ex carter seem to love it, you like to play around with your car and adjust its time and get it really dialed in for track use, um, and that's what you fundamentally use it for, whether it be racing or track use, then the RR is the, definitely the ticket for you to, to pull into. The RR chassis will deliver upon what you want to adjust the vehicle, set it up, all the parameters, all the tow, and etc. And especially if you're racing the vehicle, um, you can then tweak it and adjust it accordingly to what that track will do. This particular vehicle, although average driver probably getting into the two vehicles wouldn't know the difference once they're set up correctly, um, this vehicle, obviously it's slightly cheaper to run, much easier to maintain and less difficult to set up because it's there for you in the basic setup. But track use, race use, road use, occasional track day, they're your two options, you guys. Right, so if you want any more information about the Indy RR or the Indy R chassis, obviously you can contact us at mail at nksportscars.com or contact us on the telephone number that you'll see below. But if you subscribe to our videos, remember that, press the subscribe, it'll always pop up and you can contact us via that or our Facebook page as well. Good luck guys, purchasing your next project.